right, hi everybody, Orit here. Um, I have Marissa with me. She is a seasoned Sharkey instructor and I'm so excited to have her on. Thank you, Marissa, for coming. So excited to chat with you this morning. Awesome. And um, you're gonna be helping so many people understand what the Sharkey training is about and how it benefited you and all that jazz. Yes. So let's start off by, if you can introduce yourself and if you can let us know what your dance and fitness background is. Sure. So my certification, I think was two years ago now with Sharkey. Uh, I was teaching for a few years before that, maybe three or four years, uh, had different certifications before Sharkey. I uh, never really considered myself a dancer, more in the fitness background, but, you know, today I would totally call myself a dancer. Cool. So did you, so you started off as fitness? Mm-hmm. Started off as fitness. Great. And what were you teaching when you were a fitness instructor? Oh, I taught classes like spin and strength and, you know, sculpt classes, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I started to move into dance later on. Um, but didn't really encounter anything until Sharkey came about for me. So was Sharkey your first encounter with belly dance? It wasn't my first encounter with belly dance so much as my first structured mm -hmm. um, learning environment with belly dance. Oh, gotcha. Otherwise, how, where or whom did you take belly dance? Yeah, I, I was just taking classes in and around town, um, taking master classes whenever I could. Um, studying with whoever was, you know, in the area at the time and really enjoying it more for myself. Uh, just love of the beautiful art form. Wasn't really envisioning teaching it one day, um, but that was just an organic process that unfolded for me. Wonderful. Yeah. And so what made you want to take the Sharky training? So I definitely found a new level of fitness in me once I started belly dancing. Um, the appreciation, like I said, of the art form, I'm not sure that anyone can really get it unless you do it. It is a workout. Um, so much conditioning and the love that I found for me through this dance was profoundly enriching for me. Um, holding my body with posture, being able to express my feminine side, it just became something that needed to be shared. And Sharky was the right ingredient for that. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Great. And um, so you started off as a fitness instructor, and now you're calling yourself a dancer as well. Um, and now you're a Sharky instructor. Now, after taking the Sharky training, what changed for you? Was there an aha moment? Did it so happen? <laughs> so yes. many aha oh. moments. Um, you know, my background was in music. I was a musician since a kid. I studied music in college, have a performance degree. And Sharkey gave me that aha moment that so much of my knowledge was transferable by the language that you used in your technique breakdown, um, by counting the music. This is all stuff that I knew, but I wasn't able to make the transfer until I took the training. Um, aha moments like, lead leg changes, you know, something that I struggled with for such a long time. And in like five minutes, you cleared that up for me in the training. And it was like no longer an issue ever. Um, and then I think what Sharky also did was give me a framework to allow my creativity to come through. So I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I had steps that I could learn from and use, but also found the freedom in the system to put some of what I knew into my choreography and classes. And because I wasn't struggling finding music, I had music, I had 32 count music, you know, ready-made and great music, love the Sharky music. Uh, my time was better used instead of finding music, I was choreographing and it was just falling out of me, the choreography. Awesome. And I'm glad that you touched that, um, touched on that you can add your own type of movement to the Sharky format. Sure. I think what people sometimes get confused about that there's 
only these core moves that you can use. But no, you can actually use, I mean, if you were, if you were trained in other types of belly dance, use those moves. But what makes Sharky, Sharky is the breakdown. Yes. Right. Yeah. And I think what Sharky does is it um, instills in the instructor to go back to what they knew before coming into training and just think about it a little bit. Well, I've been doing this movement for years. Do I know the technical breakdown? Am I being really analytical in my body and my movement to be able to direct students? Um, so it's a real strength to bring in, you know, what we had before into Sharky and then allow Sharky to also shape it up and strengthen it. Uh, the Sharky core moves though, in and of itself, have plenty of room for creativity. You know, they're adaptable, they're flexible, um, and, and they could also be styled in many different ways. So uh, there's a lot there, you know, already made in the package. But I don't think people need to fear that, oh, I'm only working with a handful of moves. No, far from it. Oh, gotcha. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. So um, I know you've already talked about some results that you've gotten. Are there more specific results you results you've gotten from taking the training? Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, I have classes belly dancing in an hour. It's amazing. It gave me such a level of confidence, especially with um, correction and, like I said, the te technique breakdown where I'm no longer afraid to like drill on something and really stay on something until students have it. Um, and, and even, even the system where we're drilling and layering and adding on it's practice. So that practice, when students are staying on something, they're getting results. So I have some very happy dancers. Um, I have workshop participants that, you know, feel like a real high after class, like it's just this huge jolt of energy because they accomplished something. Um, and, you know, I'm the first to admit that I'm a product of Sharky. I belly dance for my personal enjoyment four to five times a week. And I mean, I'm strong. I'm long. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely shaved inches off of me. And, you know, it's, it's just a beautiful shape that happens after belly dancing, it's very feminine. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure if you hear the echo. Do you hear the echo? It just, it cut out now. Now we're back to normal. All right. Ah, oh, live TV. <laughs> um, so um, those who are watching or listening, um, she, uh, Marissa had set some really um, golden points there um, when she was saying that um, people get to practice. And to me, I took that as um, drilling. There is, dr there are drills, but hidden within the routine. So people don't even know that they're drilling. So essentially there is technique involved but they don't know that they're doing a technique class. Totally. And another thing that you said, a sense of accomplishment with your students, they feel accomplished that they're able to do a whole choreography. Whereas in a traditional belly dance class or a dance class, there are a lot more drills. And then at the end there's a choreography where with Sharky, you are dancing right from the get go. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, so um, would you recommend this training to anybody else? Yes, absolutely, yes. Belly dancer or not, fitness instructor or not, there's so many different on-ramps, I think, that people could take to this training. Um, and I, I mean, I see the benefit for people coming in from different places. I mean, as a dancer, I think this could clean someone up and strengthen what they're already doing. Um, as a fitness you know, affectionado who just loves instructing classes. I mean, if you've never belly danced before, but you know, you've always had a love for it, give it a shot. I mean, it's, um, it's a commitment, you know, there's work to be done in the class, but it's paced appropriately, plenty of feedback and help, uh, available. So I, I think it's a win-win. There's really nothing to lose. It's great investment. Great. Thank you. Great. And uh, again, those who are watching, if you're interested in taking the training and you don't want to actually teach Shaki, that's cool too. That'll just enhance your teaching style because it's really great to have trigger words or even a way to break down something. You know, 
the, under your belt because you're going to get so many types of people in your classes and you're going to have to have, you know, many ways to explain something in your bags of tricks, right? So, um, so that's one thing I wanted to say. And I just wanted to ask you, so, um, how has Zumba helped you or hurt you? Zumba. Um, I was never certified to teach Zumba and never taught it, but I um, have taken plenty of classes. <sighs> Zumba has somehow found a transformation, if you will, in the program. It's going on for a good long time now, and it's gotten big. Uh, I've had instructors tell me that quality is starting to water down. Um, because it's getting so large. And I don't know if that's the case or not, but that's some feedback I've had. Um, I think the the unique thing about Sharky is, yes, it is a niche, but it is that special, unique something that's not experienced in Zumba. Um, Zumba is more of a, you know, watch the instructor and go. And, you know, there's plenty of times when even as a dancer, I've been in a Zumba class and I'm like, well, well what are they doing? You know, I want to know. Um, and, you know, after years of dancing, I can watch and pick up. But um, I think Sharky just kind of has a place of its own. Um, there's other dance programs that I teach as well that have their own unique something. Um, I see it as a tool for me to just use it to, you know, it's my expression. One day I'm painting like this, the next day I'm painting like that. I love that creativity and freedom. Right. right. Um, um, the reason I Zumba is so Zumba has hurt their classes, hurt their, their attendance. Um, but I think you really touched on something really good where um, uh, there's a lot of dance formats that, that have their own special something. Like I think Zumba is really special in that they don't have verbal cueing. They yeah. have visual cueing, which is nice because it is like a party. Yeah. Um, I think is I think Nia is also a verbal uh Physical cueing, visual cueing, right? Which is which is great. Um, but as far as marketing and the whole Zumba thing, and people feel like it hurt them, you know, flip it. You know, use it as an asset. Like you know, I know Zumba has a um, a component of belly dance, which is probably not as authentic, which, but which is great. It's exposing them. I mean, use that. Say, hey, if you want now, if you want to learn authentic belly dance, come to Sharky. Yeah. Use it as a marketing tool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even, you know, we could get into Zumba class and think that we're dancing a salsa tune. And we are to a certain extent, but there's also a deeper layer of every dance that's being offered in that program. Um, you know, some folks scratching the surface is good enough and that's fine. You know, that's meant for them. And some folks want to take it a little deeper, like when they really start to feel the dance in their body and, um, you know, just get a little curious of what's more. There's deeper layers of it. So... Uh, I mean, I've taken salsa classes that dance me around the floor that I'm not doing in Zumba. Um, but, uh, you know, I always say the sun is big enough to shine on everyone. So there is something out there for everyone. And a little discussion around, you know, what we do and what we're offering, I think, you know, authentically expressed attracts the right type of student to yeah. class. And there is something about Sharky that I think is unique also in that I think it's attractive to all age groups um, and people coming in for different reasons. Um, I've had, you know, older, more mature women in class who really appreciate uh, the connection to their body. And um, it's almost like a healing journey for them. Um, I have women who have been afraid to look at themselves in the mirror and what a beautiful moment that is for them when they see themselves standing with posture and with confidence. Uh, they don't even have to move. <laughs> They're just standing posed so beautifully. And then I have a younger clientele who, you know, they love the workout. It's hot. It is sexy. And hey, why not? Who yeah. says sexy is wrong, you know? Of course. Of course. <laughs> well, thank you, Marissa. I just want to put in a little bit of a plug here. So those of you watching who are interested in taking the Sharky training, just go to Teach Sharky, T-E, well, it's right there on the, on, the, um, on the screen, and just scroll down to Instructor Training and 
go to an instructor training and then scroll down to register for training. Um, and also, if you guys are interested in trying and getting to participate for free, um, there is an award scholarship that I will be uh, announcing on January 1st. I am uh, collecting video submissions now until the 25th. Um, so if you are eligible, what you get is free participation um, into the Sharky training, along with one year free crew membership, as well as one year free Belly Dance Business Academy, which is like a freaking business in a box. Yeah. <laughs> so you not only get certified, but then you learn how to market it, market your class and make some money. Okay. All right. Um, Marissa, thank you. It was an honor to have you. Oh, it's my pleasure. My yeah. absolute pleasure. All right. Thank you folks for watching and have a great day. Take care.